Hello everybody, AZ Flyer here. Uh, in this video, we're gonna show how to do voice call outs using the special functions capability in the FR Sky X20S radio. So this is really good for having a voice call out on a switch being moved or you know anything at all. I, I use it for you know telling me my gears up or down, flaps are up or down, my rates, my timer being reset my speed brakes, anything like that. If you want it talking to you, the special functions is how you're gonna to wanna to do that. So when you're, at the, when you're at the main airplane menu here, you're gonna to wanna to hit the little airplane and you're gonna scroll all the way over and you're gonna see special functions right here. Tap on special functions tile and you can see I have a lot of them in here already. And one of the ones that's really the most uh, usable is the one that uh, resets my, um, my timer or my speed brakes, I found to be really handy. So I'm gonna show you how to do the uh, speed brake, which is, um, it's on a momentary switch. So you're gonna hit the plus sign to create a special function. I've already created one here. So I'm gonna go into the edit. So you're gonna, so you've got, this is where you set up whatever you want that, that voice to do. Now I select play track, because play track means play an audio track. Um, so you're gonna select play track, you're gonna come down to enable, so you're, you're always gonna enable that. Your active condition is what activates the track. Well, in this case, I wanna do it when my momentary switch on the back of my radio, on, on my, I'm using my middle finger here on my right hand, when I push that, I want it to activate. So you're gonna hold that button down and then step off, because it's a momentary switch. If I'm using a regular position switch, I can just flip the switch and then, and then step off. But in this case, I'm gonna use my, my momentary switch and you can see when I click the momentary switch back here, it lights up green and the SJ1, that means it is recognizing that as a, a live switch, so that's, that's working. The, the, um, the file that I wanna play is I'm gonna to wanna to hit, I'm gonna want brakes. So I'm gonna dial all the way down to brakes on you can see there's lots of wave files here. I'm gonna say brakes on and select that. So now when I hit this button, it'll say brakes on. Brakes on. And when I release it, it stops. And then you have your repeat function. How many times do you want it to say that? Um, you can have it just say it once. So if I hold it, brakes on. it just said it one time. When I release, it's off. I For brakes, I want it to tell me that every three seconds, as long as I'm holding that button down. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it for three seconds. Now when I hold it, brakes on, brakes on, brakes on, and release it. See, it talks to me every, thir every three seconds so that I, uh, I know that I'm holding that button down. I want to know that button's being uh, pushed down. And that's it. Now you've got a track brakes on. tied to a button. And you can, you can create new ones, you can make that uh, active condition, whatever you want it to be, um, and decide the track you want to play and how long you want to repeat. So that's how you set up a special function um, using to play an audio track for a switch change. And I hope that's helpful and wish y'all happy flying.